Aloha everyone! So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a back to school video again for my series and I'm going to be giving college advice to those of you who are just starting off in college. So first of all, I am doing my third year in college this coming up fall semester. I'm excited to have new classes and just meet new people again. I'm gonna try and give you guys advice in a chronological order. I'm gonna start off with signing up for classes and just looking for the right classes for your major or for your minor, whatever you are taking. Psychology, sociology. Unless you came out of a college prep high school, you shouldn't be taking too much credits. For example, full time is 12 credits and then part-time is anything that you take below 12 credits, so like eight credits, six credits. Make sure you're not taking too much credits because it could probably put too much homework load on you and then you'll just quit college, which I don't want you guys to be doing. I want you guys to experience your first year at college and let it be a good one as well. Going along with that, when you are signing up for classes, Please go to your counselor for your classes. For my school, when I took my compass test uh, going into my freshman year of college, I was recommended to go to my counselor. They actually said, go to your counselor and sign up for your classes right after you take your compass test. Or actually make an appointment with your counselor to sign up for classes. I'm pretty sure that's what every college does. Uh, where you make an appointment to sign up for classes with your counselor. Your academic counselor is the best way to go when signing up for classes. I'm telling you guys now, that is the best resource that you can have in college. So any questions you have about academics, like the major that you're going in, they are perfect to go to for like what classes would be perfect for that major. For those of you who are taking general classes or liberal arts classes like English, math, all, all of those like core classes that you used to take in high school that you now have to take in college at the 100 level, I recommend that you guys start getting your supplies early, probably as early as possible when the school supplies go on sale. You know how you were little and in elementary school and middle school, I don't know if they still do it in school, but in elementary school, they would give you like a whole list of like all the supplies you need for school for that whole year. But once you go to college, where's our list? Yeah, we don't get a list. We basically have to fend for ourselves and just think for ourselves. So I recommend that you just get like a couple notebooks, couple folders. If you guys are into getting binders, you guys can. I don't really use binders, I just use folders and notebooks and color code them the way I want to, but you guys do what you gotta do. I recommend that you also get a laptop if you can. Some people don't have the money to get a laptop, but try and save up for a laptop. Laptops are just really portable and you can bring them anywhere. Usually the university or campus that you go to, they have Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi or free networks. As for textbooks, for me personally, I buy my books at the bookstore on campus just because they do a buyback. And what a buyback is at our school is when you buy the textbook for that semester, say it's fall or spring, then at the end of the semester, you bring back your book and you get 50% back to you. So sometimes it depends because they actually look at the book and look how well you took care of it. Other than that, you can buy textbooks online. I know a lot of people buy textbooks from Slug Books, I think, but I'll have some links down below of some good online websites where you can buy textbooks. Another tip is you should go to orientation and also any other kind of events that are going on before school starts to help you with college and just getting into swing of things and just making new friends. My school had a freshman camp, which was like a two day thing. We did not exactly sleep over at the campus, but we did have like a whole day set for like learning about new classes, where to go, um, tutoring, all the school resources. 
So what you should do when you attend classes is you should sit in the front of class. It will really help a lot. I didn't know this my freshman year and I struggled a lot in my freshman year, but I recommend you guys sit in the front of the class because you'll be able to hear the professor more and sometimes there's still people talking in the back and the professors, they don't really care in college. So I rather you guys sit in the front so you guys can hear and so you guys can learn. You should also make a friend in every class. I'm saying this because when you do miss a class, you want somebody to depend on. When you miss out on something, you can call them, text them on a missing assignment or anything. Or you can make a study group with your friends that you've made for that semester. You guys can study whenever you guys want, set a time, set a date. It's perfect. Try to be sociable and join clubs because that's a great way to also make friends. You want to make a lot of friends in college because it's reality. You're just stepping into the adult world and it's really fun to have friends to just hang around with and to study with and all of that stuff because they'll be really helpful when you do have to study. Use your school resources. I probably said this in the beginning, but use your school res resources like Tutoring. Tutoring is free at my school as well as the computers. Usually the campuses always have computers in the libraries or the lounges sometimes. So make use of that because it's free. Lastly, attend most of your classes. Sometimes we get lazy. Sometimes we're just busy with work or anything. We're just tired please go to class because it'll make a difference. You'll understand the concept more of what you're learning, the lesson you're learning. That's it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like my video, subscribe for more videos, and until next time, stay beautiful. Bye.